how is it? It's uh, Thursday. Tis, yes, it is Thursday. And we are doing quite all right. Uh, the room is starting to come into shape, which is great. Uh, it's always nice to get the racks. I really think it's impressive every month. It, it, it never ceases to amaze me in the range of bottles. I know there's a few old, uh, old reliables like the, yeah. the, the, the Middletons and, 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 the and powers, powers and stuff yeah. like that. But it's just, I think it's just really, really impressive. Um, today we're going to touch on some Irish and some ones that we were drinky pooing last week. I'm not drinky pooing, but we were in uh, the Palace the Bar pool, yes. and for Cullen. So for Cullen's, I think, a real dark horse at the minute. I don't think anybody's really come to realise what they've got yeah. in stock and, and what they're actually doing going forward. And their site and location, and they really are primed, I think, to, to really kick it on. Hopefully when tourists come back, They'll be back down in the far Powers Court estate and they'll be ranting and raving about it going home to their own country. And you and might eventually like take me for a two nights stay with a balcony room. Aye. Yeah. So if anybody in Powers Court wants to give us a two night stay for free gratis, I'll go down and I'll be nice. No. 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 I'm not paying mental. In the rich. <laughs> you think I made the money. Um <laughs> So I'm going to touch on them first. So we have a few for Collins in this one, but we have some really, really special ones. Yeah. I mean, we have some very, very hard to get ones. Uh, I'll start off with the 14 year old. So this 14 year old was done for um, at a show in Germany in a little village. Uh, Marika was doing it. Small little cask, I think 50 liter cask, 80 bottles is all that came out of it. Wow. They were filled by Noel on the day. Noel was there and there's oh, photos cool. of... Noel filling them on the day. He actually, he signed it literally yeah. with a pen. Well, he not was a there. <laughs> stamp. Uh, so that's bottle number 52. I mean, unless you were there on the day, you, you didn't yeah. get one. Exactly. So that's how hard that is to get. So cool. that's really, really special. And the 14's a nice liquid. Fourteen's a lovely liquid. I don't know what it would be slightly different it than might be what we've yeah, tasted yeah, previously. But again, but it was, but they were done in literally a little 50 oh, litre cask. Good. It was a hell of a job. Uh, this is the 13 year old. This was done for 13 year old single grain. Can't be the single grain. Absolutely. And, and, and again, the real blessing that Fair Colin have is that they had Noel Sweeney as the master of distillery. He's, he's since moved on. But at the time, he knew what he was buying because he distilled it. <laughs> he's one of the few guys who can genuinely have master distiller on it of legacy whiskey yeah. because he distilled it when it was in Cooley. That 13 year old grain is probably some of the best grain about. I mean, I've always raved about the likes of the Green or 8 and the Green or 15 and stuff like that. That people never really no. give Cooley the kudos yeah. for the grain whiskey. I mean, it was just phenomenal stuff. And we've now got, you know, aged, proper aged uh, grain whiskies. But this here is just phenomenal. So again, this was done for Finland. Uh, and for Finland only. So it'd be a real, real tough one to get. Again, uh, getting bottles in and out of Finland, a little bit difficult, shall we say. Mm -hmm. So that's for that one. Uh, only 257 bottles of that. So that's really, really, really special. Uh, the James Fox one. Again, we all know James Fox in Dublin, one of the, the best whiskey shops and cigars. I think I'm going to take up cigars. No. You've never done it before, you're not going to do it again. <clears throat> all the hipsters and the influencers, Doesn't they're all matter. doing it. They all sit around talking about smoking Doesn't things. Doesn't matter, you... No, actually, I think reckon them, someone could be smoking other things, but I mean, Possibly, that's neither here nor there. Sitting in my dinner jacket, <laughs> in the leather chair, yeah. smoking a cigar, Lyric FM playing in the background. And then I slap you in the back of the head and you wake up. Okay, fair enough. Um, that is also an 18-year-old <laughs> single malt. <laughs> uh, this was done at Cask Strength as well. Only 279 bottles, 54%, uh, 18-year-old single malt. Yum, yum, oh, yum, it's yum, just yum. super. It is fantastic. I hunted down people to get a taste of that at, at some event. Can't you're remember. like that aren't you going around just getting drinks no, off people I, miss, I mean you give it to me about t-shirts and stuff and you're going around this. yeah I know what you're in blowing ca i seen you hugging men and everything trying to get drink off them I know what you're like Um, you were hugging people last night as well we did have the Loud Whiskey Society event last night yeah. for uh, Two Stacks and Cologne, Cologne. Uh, fantastic got yeah. the change got the change got the taste uh, Polaris it's done with the uh, ice wine Fantastic and 
I'll read a two from uh, Cologne and a bulk on from Cologne. Mm. Ho, ho, ho. That is a man's drink. I didn't get to taste it because I was driving. About time to look after your man. Yeah. Um, this is... <laughs> um, this was a special release from the Boyan Distillery. Um, this was literally their new make. Yeah. And it was done to celebrate the fact that they'd won... New make 2021. There you go. It says on... <laughs> I was just hesitating for a split second. World's best. New make 2021. Uh, there was a limited release of them. That's bottle number 94 of a thousand. Uh, little mini Diddy bottles. That's a cute wee bottle. It is a cute wee bottle. Uh, Jade bought me one of them for, she did for Christmas. Christmas. Uh, I think it's a great great thing to have. And it's lovely to have. I will skip that. Coming from Boan as well. Is the Whistler. Uh, 12 year old single malt. They've done some really cool stuff. That's the good, the bad, and the smoky. Yes. And they've done some other great, great releases from Boan. Pick cool names for them as well. <coughs> sort of like the Scotch whiskey. Oh, the good, the bad, and the smoky. Yeah. Yeah. If we done one, it'd be good, the bad, and the. I don't know. Anyhow. Uh, speaking <laughs> of funny finishes, not funny finishes, great finishes. Something that has gone bananas. Lads are going looking for is the Teeling Wonders of Wood. Mm-hmm. So. We all know Teeling are, for better or for worse, they get killed at times for their innovation because there's so many different releases and people, oh, there's too many bottles, yada, yada, yada. But I think it's to be applauded. I really do think it's to be applauded. But they're they're not scared about taking risks and putting bottles out there. And Alex has been known in the past, before even Teeling was set up, that he was um, innovative and he was doing things that sort of nobody else was doing. And he's really carried that on in uh, the Tailing Distillery. That's the Brandy PX uh, Chestnut Cask. The Amberana one, Amberana, I think I'm pronouncing it right, is the one that everybody raves about. It really oh, is. Right. And they've also got the, the Wonders of Wood logo on, on the front of the... the... Tube. Tube! <laughs> Just like you. <coughs> you can hurt my feelings. If you had any. If I had any. Uh, the Connacht uh, first cask, that's their. They've been doing all right in auctions. Yeah. They've been holding their own. Um, they're one of the ones that uh, sort of came out. It was their first release of their new make spirit from not new make, but their but their, their, tree, first, their, yeah. their first distillate. Uh, and I think it's doing quite well. And it's been received quite well. The reason I put Egan's up there is because here's another one of these. Um, it's a legacy name, but. It's also carrying some fantastic stocks. They've had a few different ones and they've only recently just bought out another new release. That's the 16. <coughs> I think the presentation really is special. Oh, no, and I don't beautiful. think they get half enough um, for it as well. I mean, it is gorgeous. 16 year old. Um, it is just, you know, I think really, really exceptional. And it's great to see them putting the effort into the presentation and stuff like that. Um, I think it, it, it sets brands apart when they really put the effort into the presentation. Yeah. Here's one that caught everybody by surprise. Uh, I'll, I'll show the black cover first and nobody sort of goes, oh, what's that? This is um, from Titanic in Belfast. This is the new brand to the market. They've resurrected um, or they're building a new distillery and so on. Th- this caught everybody by surprise. This came out and was released and they've done a, a special... Um, you do that yep. I've got the bottom underneath so they've done a special collector's edition and people sort of went oh, yeah that's grand until it sold in the auction and went absolutely stratospheric many multiples of what it actually was what it cost and this is what they got so they got the bottle of uh, Titanic distillers some uh, what are they called stones Whiskey stones yes, whiskey. or ice stones? Whiskey stones. So you chill them or you drop them in the freezer. They chill to a temperature. You put them into your whiskey and they chill the whiskey without diluting it as yes. ice would. So yes. that, that's why people use them. Uh, it's also got a, a Glencairn in there, a branded Glencairn as well. Um, they're banding about years and dates and all that in the front of bottles. <laughs> <coughs> that's it. Not really real, but let's... Bandying about. Well, I, there's an element of that that does sort of bug me a wee bit. Yeah, you know, know, 1911. Aye, lads, we just get on. We just... 
So Do that's that. They they done that in auction. Uh, they that done really really well in auction, and uh, it caught everybody by surprise. And this month I think we have about five million of them. <laughs> Could be a slight exaggeration. We mightn't have five million per se. There's a lot. Uh, Sailor's Home. Sailor's Home is a cool one, and I don't think people know what that is yet. So Sailor's Home has attached to it the name Jack O'Shea. And anybody who knows whiskey in Ireland knows that Jack O'Shea is a legend. Yes. An absolute legend. He's been involved in more brands and more whiskies, and not in a bad way. He's been brought in as a consultant yeah. to help people set up stills, to help people establish brands. He is... Sorry, a, I just a, feel a, I have to pop this back. Okay. Didn't want to. You done now? Yeah. Carry on. Jack, he is a fountain of knowledge. He's a gentleman. Oh, he's he happy to talk about whiskey. He, he, you know, he shares his knowledge. He's brilliant. And that is one of the ones that he's involved with currently. And I really think that it is going under the radar. It's probably been more consumed for um, travel retail and it's probably been consumed more for abroad. It comes with a snazzy Tipperary oh, that glass crystal. Is fab. Lovely, yeah. Uh, twisty twisty yeah. and Jack's signature's on the front of it so there's Jack's signature on the front of it um, Jack O'Shea what more can you say and he's got like one of them strong names O'Shea like the, the man you know, the myth the legend the man the myth <laughs> well there is I, I mean again and when you're talking to him he's, he's so humble about it he's, he's so he's no he, he's genuine he's so he's you know on the thing we have this in the auction and this is from our pals down in Cooper's off license in Care in care, care or car. No care. When, when you see it, you'd say car. Uh, this is their two releases that they've done, um, and so edition one and edition two. I think they're both at cask strength. No, so one's cask strength and one's not. There you go. Katie knows. I don't. I haven't a clue. Um, in a presentation with the two bottles, great opportunity to get some of the distillate out of Tipperary. Yeah. Uh, great, great opportunity to get that in a nice presentation box. What's wrong with it? Yeah. And it comes from, from Cooper's, which is... One, we do like him, don't we? He's all right. Do, yeah, yeah, he's all right. He's all right. So that's it. Um, oh. We better talk about His Majesty. <sighs> so the Lord Mayor the Lord of Killarney. Mayor Killarney. <laughs> His Excellency. His Excellency. <laughs> the Lord Mayor of Killarney has <laughs> a new release coming out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. Tonight. There's a big event then in, in Killarney. We weren't invited, apparently. We're not influencers. All right, okay. He never invited fine. us. That's <coughs> fine. That's fine. We'll remember it, won't yep. we? Yeah. We apples. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he did <laughs> say, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll drop you a few pounds if you promote me brand because, you know, he's a struggling off-license down there in Killarney. Needs a bit of help. Yeah. So we said, look, we'll do what we can for you. He has generously given us... Um, the bottle number one of his new Powers 14-year-old release. For uh, the Carry Out Killarney. For the Carry Out Killarney. Um, John is... Ah, look, he's a, he is a bit of a legend. I, I know I give him a hard time Dickie. at times. Dickie! Hi, Dickie! <laughs> uh, That's a story for another time. It's like driving round. I mean, I've been down there <laughs> with John and you're driving round and you see, like, you know, like the birds stop flying in the sky when they see him coming. It's just, you know, he's, he's legendary. Um, that is for charity. Um, I think it's for the air ambulance. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I will we will know and we'll let you know tomorrow. I'll, it'll be in tomorrow's yeah. video again. But I just thought, it, seeing as tonight's the event and we didn't get invited, I just wanted to rub it into him. <laughs> uh, Jer Garland's going to be there. I mean, again, any event with Jer Garland talking about whiskey is always good. Yeah. Uh, it's in Foley's. Oh, cool. And that's a cool wee spot in Killarney, too. We do like yeah, Colin Foley's pub. Like it Foley's. is a fantastic pub. If it's you're ever in Killarney. Shame. Fleming will be there. Oh, well. But hey, you know, you can't have it always. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, that is for charity. Bottle number one again. Uh, the lads are just doing great work down there. And they've always helped with the Friends of Middleton stuff. They've really dug in for that. Uh, and they've done plenty of other things as well. So we're, we're glad to support them and glad to help them if we can. Just because they are always struggling off license in Killarney, you know. Yeah. God love them. Yeah, but anyhow, that's it. We waffled on enough. Don't today. forget, uh, Silent One, Silent Two is back in the rightful place up top. 
and they were out for a bit of a photo shoot. They went for a spin to Dublin, so they it? did. And treated but, like celebrities that they are. Treated like the amount <laughs> of people that wanted to come up and get photos taken with them is is mental. Mental, yeah, you know. But anyhow, uh, and bottle number one of the middle in twenty two. So that's it. Uh, tomorrow is Friday is Go Day. It's Go Day. Five o'clock tomorrow evening we go live. Uh, tomorrow there will be the charity items. A mm-hmm. uh, bit of a more emphasis on that. We'll actually know who the charities are. Yes. And I have a few American bottles that I've missed this yes. week that I just want to talk about as well. So we'll talk about that. We will see you tomorrow. That'll do. Talk to you, lads. Good luck. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>